And good Thursday afternoon. I'm Anthony Ponce. And I'm Natalie Bumke. And we start with move in day for local migrants. It's happening right now in an old Chicago public school building. Let's get straight to Nate Rogers, who is live for us on the south side this afternoon. Nate? Yeah, guys, that's right. In fact, Chicago police, as you can see right behind me, they've been here monitoring the scene after a small group of protesters tried to block migrants from moving in earlier today. Migrants apparently from Venezuela will be temporarily housed here at the former Wadsworth Elementary School. So far, we've seen at least three busloads of people carrying bikes, laundry baskets, and duffel bags into the building since this morning. Now, this comes as more than 5,000 immigrants have been bused to Chicago since last year. Over the last several weeks, Woodlawn residents have expressed concerns about the move. 20th Ward Alderman Jeanette Taylor saying, although we're a sanctuary city, the neighborhood is already grappling with high crime, gentrification, and significant homelessness. Taylor says she's been blindsided by the mayor's office on specific plans, and residents in this ward have many, many questions. How many mi migrants is it at Wadsworth? They've moved in this morning? <clears throat> you would have to ask the mayor and the commissioner at DFSS because I wasn't getting, I haven't gotten any of that information. The mm. fifth floor, Mayor Lori Lightfoot nor her team are coordinating with me. Um, I've had a couple of meetings with them where she wasn't at the meeting. It was our commissioner and nobody really gives us answers. So we've had three community meetings that I've had to push them on and in those meetings we don't get the answers. So we don't know what their day looked like. We, we don't know what's the safety plan. We don't know if they don't come back what happened. None of that has been told to myself nor the community. So you can see how frustrating this is. And just within the last 10 minutes, we received word from a spokesperson from the mayor's office who tells us 100 men and women will be temporarily housed here at the former Wadsworth Elementary School. He told us these individuals are actually um, coming from other shelters because of capacity levels. The city spokesperson also telling us that this location will, in addition, house those in Chicago that are experiencing homelessness as well. Um, Alderman Alder woman Jeanette Taylor says that she has received calls from local church leaders and community organizers who want to help out as well. In Woodlawn, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.